Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today in this video, we are going to discuss about diet for a CKD patient. Because diet plays a very important role in the treatment of CKD. It's almost a 50% part of the treatment. The reason is because with the help of diet, we can control the internal environment in the CKD patient. We can control ketamine, urea, sodium, potassium, fluid. So it's very important to understand diet so that we can control the internal environment of our body. So let's start with creatinine. To control the level of creatinine in a CKD patient, we have to understand creatinine first, where it forms, what is the raw material for it, then only we can control the level of creatinine in a CKD patient. So basically, creatinine is a protein-based waste material produced by our muscle during muscle metabolism. And it forms equal, almost equally in every individual, but it only accumulates in a CKD patient because of non-functioning of the kidney. If somebody wants to control the level of creatinine inside the body, we have two ways. First, we can limit the amount of raw material which is forming the creatinine, first thing. Second, we can increase the excretion of creatinine through our kidneys. But in today's video, I will explain you how we can control the level of creatinine with the help of diet, how we can control the production of creatinine in our body. But in another video, I will explain you how we can improve the kidney functioning, how we can excrete creatinine more from our body so that the level of creatinine can be brought down. So to control the production of creatinine in human body, we have to control the raw material intake and that is protein. So I advise all my patients to go for protein free diet. In this diet, we advise patients to not to take any kind of complex protein like fish, chicken, mutton, pork because they are hard to digest and when we intake such kind of complex protein when it goes into our metabolism it breaks down into smaller particles and during this process lots of waste material is produced which is harmful for the body because kidney is unable to pass it through urine instead of complex protein i advise all my patients to go for simpler kind of protein protein like milk legumes pulses and that also only once or twice in a week because that will be sufficient for a human body to survive. If we consume this simpler protein also in a large quantity, the same thing will happen. The level of creatinine will increase. Now the question arises, our whole body is made of protein, our nail, hair, eyes, everything is made of protein. If we restrict the amount of protein intake, what will happen? And the answer is nothing will happen because when we consume carbohydrates, it goes into our body and converts into protein as per the body's requirement. So there will be no deficiency of protein until and unless there is heavy protein loss through urine in a CKD patient. So we can go for protein free diet or protein restricted diet depending upon the reports of the patient. Now let's move to urea. On the same principle, you have to understand where and how urea forms in our body. So basically urea is formed by our liver during food digestion. When we consume any kind of food, it goes to our digestive system and liver breaks it down in a smaller particle. During this process, lots of urea is produced which is eventually passed by our kidney through urine. Now try to understand. If liver works more to digest something, the more amount of urea will form. Same way, if the food is easily digestible, liver has to work less and lesser amount of urea will form. This way we can control the level of urea in a CKD patient. So basically we have to avoid all kinds of deep fried food items and items like peanut butter, mayonnaise, cheese because they contain large amount of saturated or unsaturated fat along with the protein. Now let's move to the sodium. So again, if you want to control the amount of sodium in a CKD patient, you have to understand how sodium comes in our body because the formation of the sodium doesn't take place in our body. It always comes from the outside, from the food. And the major source of the sodium is common salt. So if the patient is suffering from BP or pedal edema or level of sodium are high in the reports then only we have to cut the amount of sodium now to control the amount of sodium in a human body in a ckd patient we have to control the amount of salt intake because salt is the only major source of sodium we have to avoid 
sprinkling salt on anything like salads we have to avoid snacks chips and savories take only limited amount of salt which is necessary to make the food eatable by this way not only you control the level of sodium in a ckd patient but also you control the level of bp you control the pedal edema because when we take large amount of salt, complications happen. Complications like high blood pressure and pedal edema are also associated with the high sodium composition of the human body. As of now, we have discussed how we can control the level of creatinine, urea and sodium with the help of diet in a CKD patient. In second part of this video, I will explain you how we can control the amount of phosphorus, potassium, fluid and as well as acid. But before leaving, I want to show you some of my Results. Hi, my name is Becheva Sarah Gamaran, and I'm a kidney patient. And I found out I had stage 3B kidney disease, getting very close to having to have dialysis. And it absolutely shocked me. So I did all kinds of um, learning and studying and trying to figure out how outside of modern medicine I could get help. And I understood uh, there was a place called Saras Institute in India that could help me. I also have um, and had for many years um, um, diabetes. But anyway, um, the Dr. Kumar and Dr. Uh, the doctors there, they all worked together and they were wonderful in helping me. And um, I was shocked after just three months of medication that I went from stage 3B kidney disease to stage 1, basically. Um, but the doctors here say that I will always probably be a kidney. I had a lot of kidney stones years ago. I was very much overweight. I've lost a lot of weight since then. And um, the doctors at Saras Institute advised me to go vegan. And they gave me a diet plan. And I hired a dietitian to help me along with the medication that they sent me. And with the medication that they sent me and with the diet that they advised me to be on, I've actually been able to get my diabetes down to where it's um, the A1C is 5.1, which is not even diabetic any longer, number one. Number two, I'm out of stage 3B kidney disease. I am now com almost cured. I have another three months of medication to go. Uh, my last EGFR was in the 60s. Um, the one previous to that was a little bit higher, but um, I have been trying to figure out the diet is the, diff is the, is the hard part, really, making sure you stay on the diet. But I advise uh, that anybody that has kidney disease, that they contact this doctor. And um, I give permission to use this video so that they could help other people with this disease. I have sent several people to the Saras Institute in India. And I think they're amazing and they know what they're doing. And I'm so grateful because basically they've saved my life because now I have a, a longer lengthy period of time for living. As long as I keep up the good work and keep up following the diet that they recommend and the medication that they gave me has really helped me and they've been a wonderful support not only dr kumar and i forget i'm sorry i'm, I'm i have a senior moment right now but the doctors there are very helpful and they use whatsapp and they will speak to you anytime day or night and you can contact them and question them and they will help you with any questions that you have so like i am very grateful to them and i just want to share this amazing story of a true person, a real person who has um, gone through this. And I wish you all the best and good luck in your endeavors and in your disease and that they will help you also. Be well. Namaste.